Lesson 4.6, Division and the Distributive Property. We can use the distributive property to find quotients. We have 36 divided by 3. We break apart a model into two smaller rectangles to show how the dividend, this 36, can be broken into two add-ends. We can do 30 plus 6. Each part is then divided by the divisor, this 3. We solve the smaller division problems. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. We get 12 when we add the quotients. We can also model 36 divided by 3 by using base 10 blocks. 36 can be broken into 3 tens and 6 ones. We use 3 tens and 6 ones, and we put them into groups. So we have 3 groups. We have 30 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. There's 12 in each group. 36 divided by 3 is equal to 12. Here we have 136 divided by 8. We start by breaking 136 into two add-ins that are compatible to 8, our divisor. We can use 80 plus 56. So 136 divided by 8 is equal to 80 divided by 8 plus 56 divided by 8. 80 divided by 8 is equal to 10. 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7, and 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. We think 8 times 10 is 80, so 80 can be one of the add-ends. That would be an easy add-end. So both 80 and 56 can be easily divided by 8. They were a good choice to use for our add-ends. We think of two numbers that the dividend can be broken into that can be divided easily by 6. We can use 60 plus 42. We also could have used 54 plus 48 or 66 plus 36 or 72 plus 32, but actually 60 and 42 are probably the easiest because when we do 60 divided by 6, we get a 10, and 42 divided by 6, we get a 7, we have 17. Sometimes multiples of 10 are easier to start with. For our model, we have a rectangle with 60 in it and a rectangle with 42 in it for the 102. And we see it's broken into a 10 plus a 7. If we have a larger number like 145 divided by 5, we can break it into a 100 plus 45. We think 100 divided by 5 plus 45 divided by 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. We have a 0 here, so we have a 2 with a 0. We have a 20. 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Our quotient is 29. You can see the video 4.4 where we learned how to divide tens, hundreds, thousands, and when there was a zero in the dividend, how there would be a zero in the quotient. We can break apart a dividend in different ways and still get the same quotient. We have 48 divided by 4. We think of numbers that are compatible with 4 that we can break the 48 into. We can do 20 plus 28. So we have 20 divided by 4, which is 5, and 28 divided by 4, which is 7. We add these two quotients together and get a 12. And if we had used 40 plus 8 for our add-ins, we still would have had a 10 plus a 2, which equals 12. So it doesn't matter how we break apart the dividend in different ways, we'll still get the same quotient if they're compatible with the divisor. 
Now it says model 75 divided by 5 on the grid. So if you have a blank grid, we can model this division equation. We think of add-ins that are compatible with 5. And we count 5 rows. That's going to be our divided by 5. We make rectangles for the add-ins. So the possible add-ins we could use would be 45 plus 30. Those are compatible with 5. Or 40 plus 35. We could do 50 plus 25, so that's the one I decided to use. So we have 50 divided by 5 plus 25 divided by 5. We make the rectangles for the add-ins. We've got 50, and then we could write 25 here, and we can even color them in. We see 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5, and 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So 75 divided by 5 is equal to 15. And we can model with base 10 blocks. We have 56 divided by 4. And because we're using base 10 blocks, our first compatible number, or at least one of the compatible numbers, should be a multiple of 10, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Those are multiples of 10. So we can use 40 plus 16. That's equal to 56. That's four tens, one, two, three, four, and 16 ones. We do 16 ones. 40 divided by four is 10, and 16 divided by four is four. So we have a 10 and four ones in each group. We have 14 in each group. 56 divided by four is equal to 14. Tala earned $80 from babysitting and $46 from raking leaves, and she wants to divide her money equally into three jars. So how much will she put into each jar? So first, we total her earnings. She made $80 and $46. We add them, and we get $126. Now, we can divide 126 by three for the three jars. We think of add-ins that would be compatible with 3. We can break 126 into 120 plus 6. That means we have $120 divided by 3 plus $6 divided by 3. $120 divided by 3 would be $40. And $6 divided by 3 would be $2 she would put $42 in each jar. So remember to add both quotients. If you forget one, you could get a wrong answer. And remember, since this is a problem about money, our answer is going to have a dollar sign. We need to write a problem that can be solved using this picture of apples. So, we can find how many apples there are in all. That will be our dividend. And we can write a division problem that has a divisor of eight for the eight rows. There's eight rows of apples here. And we count them, and we can split them apart. We can count 10. So 10 times eight would be 80. Then we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 left over on this side. So we have 80 plus 16, that's equal to 96. Because we have eight rows, we can write 96 divided by eight. We already have our two add-ins that are compatible with eight. 80 divided by eight is equal to 10. 16 divided by eight is equal to two. We add the two quotients and we get 12. So we wrote a problem that matched the picture of apples as 96 divided by 8 is equal to 12. Does the expression show a way to break apart a dividend to find the quotient of 60 divided by 5? So we have three different expressions. We need to see if they would show a way to break apart the dividend 60 for 60 divided by 5. So we think are the add-ins compatible with 5? 
Well, 47 plus 13, that does equal 60. But are 47 and 13 compatible with 5? No, 47 and 13 are not compatible with 5. They're not multiples of 5. What about 40 divided by 5 plus 20 divided by 5? Are 40 and 20 compatible with 5? Are they multiples of 5? When you think of the 5 times facts, are 40 and 20 some of the products? Yes, they are. They are compatible. And they would show a way to break apart 60 divided by 5. What about 30 divided by 5 plus 30 divided by 5? Are these add-ins compatible with 5? And do they equal the dividend 60? If you said yes, you're right. So these two expressions would be a way to break apart the dividend 60 for 60 divided by 5. But the first one wouldn't because these add-ins are not compatible with 5. They do make the sum 60, but they're not compatible with 5. So make sure when you're using this strategy that your two add-ins are compatible with the divisor and they total the amount of the dividend. And remember to add both quotients. Our next lesson, 4.7, we're going to divide using repeated subtraction. So say, stay strong, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.